So. Um. I know where to find the, the other suit thing. Not sure if it's gonna be here, though. Oh, this quest... Talk to Valeria at the capital. Uh, since we're going to the capital anyway, sure. Ooh, something happened in the kingdom. Uh, for a second, though. Let's, let's look what's here. Temple for the people. Your people have raised some. You let this opportunity pass by. Oh, these guys... Oh, I didn't... I didn't realize this would happen. Oh, it, I couldn't even do anything, so whatever. As long as it's opportunities, we can we can leave them be. We should deal with problems first. Sure, let's fight. Who's ambushing me? Mites. Oh no. This is where I How do I inspect someone? This will hurt. Oh, why? Oh, okay. One fight of one fight. Attack plus five. It's got dexterity plus three here. Okay, so no, these are actually these are actually two separate levels. Because if he's if he's drawing a thing, then he's getting a plus three from dexterity. Unless he's got like weapon focus. He's probably even using precise shots, so he's even getting a penalty. Actually, no, that's not the thing. Plus one bonus on attack and damage rolls with ranged weapons. Ah, the range is up to 30 feet. Oh, okay. So he's getting one from that, he's getting three, three from dexterity, and he's getting one from fire. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Would it be nice? Wait, right now we're we're tired. That's fine. We can go to the uh, we can go to our castle. <sighs> Adventures can wait. And just rest. Okay. Uh, sure, let's actually talk to Valerie here. Oh wait, I can actually I can actually give the storyteller the uh, the rest of the artifacts stuff. I just realized. So, Valerie, what's up? So, how do you feel? I see your wound hasn't healed yet. Valerie waves off, uh, waves off your words with more haste and prudence. 
Please don't worry about such trifles. I will visit a priest or an alchemist when time permits. As for how I feel, it's my pride that suffered the most. It seems I must devote more time to training. I will keep this in mind in the future and not lay you down again. I should thank you, Gregory Goodman. It's important to me that you are at my side. Now I'm sure that I'm finally free from the order of the Eternal Rose and ready to devote all my time and efforts to our mission. Okay. How's it one? Physically, it causes me no discomfort whatsoever. So if you're worried it might prevent me from serving you, then you shouldn't be. Okay. I really don't mind her having a scar. Oi, I'll have the relic for you. A coin from a non-existent country. Yeah, yeah. The belonging is of brave, uh, of brave heroes who performed their feasts, feats before here. Be oh, wait. Uh, ah, the belonging of brave heroes who performed their feats before you. I sense you would be interested to hear their story. These lands took many lives and spawned many legends. I can now tell you of a distant expedition undertaken by a group of Brevik heroes to a place known known as the Round Threes. Okay. Oh, now here's something truly impressive. These items once belonged to a dwarven smith. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me about the Drowned Threes. I hear ro rowlocks creaking, river water splashing, bushes rustling and arrows singing through the air. I feel an invincible will, a cold resolution to finish what's been started, no matter the cost. My chain armour clings to my body and my young hand grips a sword tightly. I'm the leader of a group of brave souls set off to the stellar lands to clear them from bandits once and for all. We also got some coins. We say on a large freight boat. It serves as bait for the bandits who keep throwing themselves at it, only to find death. A death as inglorious as the life they've lived. From time to time, we manage to capture a prisoner, while our Inquisitor talks to them. I go to the stern, shutting my ears to their cries. I remind myself that these are scum, drenched in blood to their elbow. I think upon our cause, freedom for my homeland. An independent rustland, but still my goosebumps rise with each pitiful cry. I must steal myself and be strong. Who's in your group? A paladin, a ranger, a sorceress, a priest, an inquisitor, and me, a fighter. All experienced combatants, over and over. We've saved each other's lives in times of need. Why do you question the prisoners? The bandits attacking our boat are small fry. We're looking for the main lair, a place known as the Drowned Trees. We seek the leader of these bandits, an underwater monster named Dargut Druun, and we will not leave without his head. Have there always been so many bandits here? This land swarms with them, and we meet them more often than common merchants. You see, we started a rumour that the Eldori sword lords are using this boat to sneak treasures out of the country. Now half the gags in the area are hunting us. Okay, continue. At night, it seems a whole army is attacking our boat. Far too many for us to fend off, but luckily, we don't have to. While they batter monsters we've summoned in a pitch black magical darkness, we drink the potions we've prepared and dive under the water. The scum break into the hold, but instead of treasure, they find their final surprise. The work of a restavic alchemic. Alchemist. A trap. A dozen barrels of highly explosive oils. We watch from a safe distance as the boat is blown to pieces in a deafening explosion. Everything has gone according to plan. The more who die here, the fewer we'll meet in the drowned trees. We march through the forest and camp to regain our strength. The nest is closed. Our Inquisitor discovered everything, even the location of their secret entrance. Today we arrest. Tomorrow, the Bandit King will draw his final breath. Okay, even if you sneak there unseen, how will you handle all of them? Each of us is worth two dozen in battle. 
Besides, we are well prepared. Chaos, confusion and summoned monsters will be on our side. And fire. A lot of fire. What's the secret entrance? An underwater path winding along the swamp bottom. We had potions to breathe freely underwater. We couldn't see beyond our stretched arms in the muddy water. And there were plenty of traps along the way, but the Inquisitor learned all the signs that marked the safe passage. At least we believed she did. Oh. Continue. We trudged through muddy waters. Suddenly a giant log stuttered with blades fall from, falls from above. I managed to stagger back, but the paladin who walked alongside me is now a gory sight, spread thin across the ground. Next moment a monstrous creature emerges from the darkness. A twisted cross between fish and monkey. Its clawed hand reaches out effortless, effortlessly melting away the Inquisitor's flesh. Then ripping out her heart. This is the king of the bandits. Dargudrun. The bandits we captured did not lie. But the secret passage he spoke of led right into the underwater lair of his master. I bury my terror deep in my soul. There was no time for weakness. There were only four of us left. And we are gasping for air by the time the freak's lifeblood stains the water. We leave the beheaded body on dry land. And retreat and recover. Only now I allow my hands to tremble, my breath to race unbidden, my tears to flow. What kind of monster was he? They say he was once a normal human, but he offended a powerful fae. She cursed him, turning him into a monster, but one bestowed with the ability to breathe underwater and melt human flesh with his touch. With these powers, he became the Bandit King. Okay. Do you, did you find anything useful in in the lair? Oh yes, the Bandit King was a true collector of magical items. We lost two of our friends, but what we found there would help us finish what we started. Okay, so the Bandit wanted to set you up. But he played right into your hands? Not really, they lost two people. You could say so. Dargut Drun didn't expect a norm party to appear there before him. But we were too unprepared for the encounter. The bandit's lie cost both sides dearly. Okay, continue. The next night we return the same way. We swim up to the surface and quietly gather our bearings. Above us loom the damned trees, enormous dead trunks emerging from the water, bridges crisscrossing their branches. The air is filled with sounds of battle. Having lost their king, the bandits now battle each other for power. And we are ready to join the fight. We leave at dawn. Behind us, smoke rises up to the sky. The bandit nest smolders and blazes. Only two of us remain, the priest and I. We've won, but this victory tastes of ash, cinders and swamp ooze. I ask him, tell me as Vanki, was it worth it? He puts his hand on my shoulder and says, yes, Jamandi. Now the stolen lands will be ours. I wish I believed him. Jamandi? Okay. The storyteller heaves a sigh, runs his head, hand over his face and rubs his temple. Thus, the expedition to the Drowned Trees came to an end. I must admit, it was no easy feeling for me to stand in the place of this daring woman. The steel on her soul was colder than ice. Okay, so if Jamandi once cleared the stolen lands of bandits. Why must we do it all over again? The death of Dargut Drun and destruction of the Dran Threes weakened the bandits, but not for long. The paladin who died was a noble. It was he who was supposed to claim the stolen lands and send in his troops, while Jamandi sought another candidate or a priest capable of performing a resurrection ritual. A new bandit leader emerged in the destroyed fortress on the banks of the Tuskwara. Within the year, the Stolen Lands were swarming with gangs once more. So this is the story of Jamandi, but she's still alive. Some people become legends in their own lifetime. Jamandi has performed many glorious feats, and there may yet be more ahead. Okay, thank you. Yeah, your stories are amazing. You make it sound as though you're actually there in the moment. The storyteller nods. I gained this gift after I lost my eyes. When I touch relics, I can feel the thoughts and emotions of those who previously owned them. 
And the emotions are strong. If the emotions are strong enough, I can even see the events that left those impressions. Okay. So we did this, we did this. Uh huh, uh huh. Um. We have to find one more Dwarven Helmet Shard. I wanna, I really wanna, because I wanna see what we get there. And this is the Leather Flattery Positive Channing. That's a, that's a really nice item though. We also want to find one of these, and we need to find two more Scorched Fragments of a Necklace. We did the rest, didn't we? I think we did. So... We leave. I hope the item is still here, though, because this is a missable. I think we actually missed it. Would be a shame. Because there was tents here before. We haven't gone... Oh, I think we missed it. Wow, Amira is so quick here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have it! Suit Black and Brown. Uh, very nice. Also, Galt Rager. Gout ragouts. Okay. I do what I must. Very nice. So with this, Cypress Queen Flower or Cypress Queen Flutes. There's more stuff we can get there. Apparently I missed... Apparently I missed uh, a thing here. Well, we are gonna go there anyway, because we're going here to find the printing press. That's right. This world might be full of suffering, but friends like you make me put up with it. Oh. Thanks. I value you a lot too, no matter how much you grumble. Are we spoiled a meal? No. Also, a new thing happened in the kingdom. We're probably looking for this. I'm like, probably looking for that car because, I mean... It's a printing press. It has to be something like that, yeah? Oh. Bandits! How did you fools manage to lose the horses? Were you supposed to carry these boxes ourselves? 
What even are these iron things? And why the hells do we need them? Oh, these are probably fonts. That's them. Lindsay whispers, pointing at the bandits. Caught the red-handed. We'll show them what happens when you take someone else's things without... <clears throat> we'll teach them a lesson. These iron things will get us rich, blockhead. It's an alchemical transmutator. I've seen them in Ustala. Or you just sample it, turn it on, and it turns rocks into gold all in its own. Don't just stand there. Get into... Get in the harness. You sure about this? Alright. Let's see if we can get this wagon to move. Oh, I kind of want to intimidate them. You have ten heartbeats to disappear. Uh, mm, oh, uh, your grace. I think we would have gotten more if we killed them. The shipment belongs to the Baron. What did you get us into, you idiot? Run! Okay, so we get... 45 and uh, 67 and there was five of them I guess so if each one of them gave me like 18 experience points which is I, I want to inspect this dude eh? I think we would have gotten this no matter what Let's look at you. After inspecting all the boxes in the wagon, Lindsay barely restrains herself from kissing the mechanisms inside. The press, safe and sound, just needs some assembly. Yay! I can't believe it. My own publishing house. I have so many ideas, so many plans. I don't know where to begin. What do you think I should print first? Uh, what would you like to print? I don't know. That's why I asked you. I mean, it's more than just a business decision, right? It's, well, a choice. A first step. It's not like my whole career would depend on one book, but I'll always think back on it. Remember when you finally got your own printing press, Lindsay? What was your first printing again? And I don't want to be ashamed of my answer. Um... No, let's just get some brownie points. Let's get let's just get some brownie points and have her print something Yerovetti banned just to spite them. <laughs> yes. Drawing truth in the faces of tyrants, that's the bard's highest calling. Though I'd certainly throw something heavier in Yerovetti's face if I could, but let's start with the truth. Print more to make a heavier volume, and bind it to in an, an iron to make drawing it easier. Let's get to it. I'll send for horses to get this delivery, the rest of the way to the capital. Printing house one. Okay. So we can build a free building. Too bad we already built our building in uh Okay, just trying to look no, I don't think any of those mushrooms respawned. That's a shame. Oh, since we're already here, how about we ask the witch about the book? Because she had the first volume. Maybe we can ask about the second and third. No. Okay, do you have anything useful though? Uh, greater invisibility. I think we want to buy this. Freedom of movements. If we select you. Okay, it's convenient because if we select Octavia, we can see which ones we can actually use. Uh, Possibly learn. One brick touch, not much. But it's great invisibility, we should be able to, uh, to cast this, so that's nice. 
Potion of Inflict Serious Wounds. Personal or targets. When laying your hand upon a creature, you channel like the energy. Yeah, yeah. Why is the target per... Why is the target personal? If you show me a touch... If you show me a, a torch target thing. Slightly confusing, but whatever. Yo, learn this spell. I wish there was a way to, to filter by spells that I, I can learn, but no, haven't yet. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Now... Actually, no, we can exit, we can exit here. Leave. We do want to go here. We do want to enter. Because we do want to get, we do want to get a thing. I don't even know if I am going to be able to get it though. Where's the cobalt again? No, the cobalt is uh, on the lower level, isn't it? Did we level up be be between then and now? I don't think we leveled up. In due time. It's possible, but we're not going to be able to uh, to do this. Oh wait, it's not here. It was actually upstairs, wasn't it? Was it? Now I'm a little bit confused. This is the this is the thing. Oh look! Okay. Aha! Interesting. Eleven nuggets. Done and done. And the Cypress Queen's goblet. Very nice. I'm not really sure 
I'm not really sure how I didn't see this before, because I was next to him. Maybe we just had to be really close. Oh, she barely actually passed this. Wow. We have the goblets, we have the flutes. We now want to get the quill. Lake Silverstep Village. Where's that? I mean, we have to look for, like, silver stuff. There's no, like, silver stuff. Unless it's, like, somewhere here, which I doubt. That's Candlemere. Wait, here? There's no way I'm gonna go there. I mean, I, I guess I could. I guess I could, but... There's no reason for me to, to get here yet, then. Okay, maybe I want the shards, then. The uh, Dwarven Helm shards. Because we need, we need just one. We need just one of these to make the helmets. Oh, also, copy recipe. Also, I kind of want to see what kind of things we have. So, four hours of travel more, which is kind of nice. Eight points per character level. Saving throws, movement speed. That's actually not a bad idea. Saving throws, one hit point per level. Eh. Movement speed. Saving throws. You know what? Okay, between these pancakes and the uh, jeweled rice, pancakes are easier. I kind of want to see what's happening here. Okay. I'm hungry. When we stop. Who's so sullen there? Like a troll after starving for three days. <laughs> hello, Dilkaris. Hello, hello. Alas, Lindsay. Someone in this party of dreamers and make believers must be mindful of the eternal. It took six hours to come, so that's pretty nice. Excellent sweet pancakes. Oh, hey, it's a favorite thing. So she get on she gets another five bonus to movement speed. That's nice. Oh hey, it's a not really a random encounter. What is this? Hey, look there, everyone. I know that Borda. Borba, that's mighty and strong one. Came to trouble, killed many, many trolls. We had to run. These 
this Borba killed King Argulka. Easy, like smashing a hair. Strong Borba, scary like fire. Run for your life. You haven't got into it yet, but apparently teleportation is a thing in this game between your villages. That's a bit of a relief. Yeah, that's really convenient. Uh, aren't you supposed to be attacking me? Get him! Get him, Amiri! Get him! This is for you! <laughs> that was a nice chance to actually get some experience points from them. Since I have everything built up in Tuskdale, I think it would make sense. Mean Borba. I mean, I'm not Booba. Amiri is kinda Booba. Not really, but almost. Okay, what's what's new here? Nasty rumor. Triumph. Plus four. Didn't it say it's gonna be three? Maybe a triumph because it's so good. Uh, maybe the triumph because it's so good. It, it's actually uh, increasing it by a plus one. Troublemakers, military plus three. Very nice. The road to the uh, train post. Economy and relations. Very nice. There's one new project we could do. Trade agreement with Patax. It's a little bit expensive, though. Let's see. Cost of building with static loyalty bonus is reduced by 10%. Which is, I guess, nice. Uh, more trade agreements. Which cost monies. Rebuild the temple. But well, only George can do this, so. Pillage the temple, no. Sortova is expensive. Oh, this is gonna happen. Hopefully we, uh, we succeed here. It would suck if we fail. You just finished the DLC. Was it good? Okay, let's see. We... Oh, 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 yeah. We're supposed to build the printing press. Apparently there's something free here somewhere. No? Oh, can I only build it in, uh... Can I only build it in my capital? It's probably, yeah. Uh... Let's see. I didn't see it anywhere. Whatever. Maybe it's something that I can only build here. That's possible. Okay, if it's like this... We have six shards of a night braces. We need... We need 10 of them. Did you see it was okay? You're enjoying the main campaign more though. The two characters it introduced were enjoyable. That's nice. So I did the Dwarven Helm Shard. 
which I need to find one, or the uh, Shard of Night's Braces, which we need to find four. I think I want to try finding this first, though. Or the Necklace of Double Crosses. So let's see. One of them was in the Ancient Tomb. One of them was in the Thorn Ford. I'm pretty sure we got that one. Old Sycamore. There was one, two, three. And I do have five. Three Pine Islets and Trail in the Hills. For sure I don't have those two, because I don't know those locations at all. I wish I could just buy a map from someone to show me locations. Can I buy a map? I'm hungry. When we stop. Uh, sure, we can rest right now. Does anyone else want tea? It's growing quite chilly this evening. Oh, thank you, Octavia. This reminds me of our classes at the Academy of Arts. Some teachers would often make tea for students, and others sometimes even opened a bottle. <laughs> okay. Where am I? I'm going here. If we can, we, you, you haven't found it. You can imagine it being tied to Kingdom Manager. Yeah, that would make sense. Though, it also would be convenient to just be able to buy a map, like, if there was a, a few tiers of map, like a common map, which, obviously, would only have like the most important things, like a trader Follow stuff. If you dare. You but if dare. also there was like some kind of second and third tier. <laughs> oh wow, it was a monitor lizard. So strong. Wait, that was that was it? Just this one lizard? Okay. Oh, very nice. I do what I must. And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, we yeah! Oh, the food ran out. That's fine. Yeah, for example, like the same thing that uh, I remember from from I see something like Assassin's Creed, I think too, allowed you to do something like Your buy a map if we wanted low. to to get collectibles from it. <laughs> to make it easier to just get a hundred percent of stuff. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Why is there a shovel? No, that's a... Is this a spear or is it a shovel? It's a long spear plus one, okay. I'm guessing this one thing here is also traps. Because we found two I things here. Asked. Okay, that's the scorched fragment of a necklace. Oh, there's a thing here, okay. <gasps> oh no, that's just a golden chalice. I thought it would be like a bag of holding. It's not. Ooh, rice and nut pudding. It's convenient that the recipes you find can actually be found here. Actually, no, we don't need to rest here. What's this? 
and ancient weather worn ruins. Time has been merciless to them. It's virtually impossible to tell when they were erected or who were the builders. Okay. Now we just need one last one last thing. Trail <clears throat> Trail in the hills. Wait, where's the exit? Here is the exit. Why is the exit here when I entered here? It's actually not here, it's like here, somewhere. me this, but that's not this, is it? It's got a different name on the map. We should gather all Oh, we tied? Okay. Do you really not like to have fun? Or you just don't know how to? Do you want me to hold a festival for you when we get back to the capital? We can stuff our faces, dance and get drunk. What do you say? I say you are very kind, Octavia. Uh -huh. But such help will do me no good. I'll only get a headache from the music and dancing. As for the drinking, hmm, well, I better keep away from that too. Oh yeah, because he did... He, he was doing like a drinking binge. Wasn't he? After he was rejected by... Uh... By Torag, I want to say. I forgot the name of the Dwarven God. You do miss the exits being anywhere along the border of the map. There's a way out that, in that direction. Yeah, that it would be really convenient. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, it was a triumph. Oh, he did roll 16. I'm guessing that... Okay, if the result is 23, that means if you roll 7 higher, it, it is going to be a triumph. I'm guessing if you roll 5 higher, it's going to be a triumph. No events. The two rank up stuff. This stuff, all of this needs monies, and I don't have monies. Stuff would be cheaper. I kind of okay without that. Those two be people weak. I kind of want this. And all of the other trade agreements. They need him. He's still doing the curse. It sucks so much that all of the curse stuff requires like 45, 60 days to complete. Sure, let's fight them. Some cobwebs. Okay. I'll fight if I have to. Yeah, this dude is like what? Why do I not? I'm trying to inspect him. I'm inspecting him. Oh, now we see. Okay. So he's a level three warrior. Oh, I don't want to inspect him anymore. Okay. Okay. 
return you. Everyone's fatigued. Sure, rest. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, but at night you were moaning terribly in your sleep. Oh? Did you have a nightmare? I can share my calming herbs with you. They'll help. Really? Thank you, Octavia. This would be great. I know only one way to fight off nightmares, but I'm trying to cut down on my drinking these days. Oh, that's that's a nice interaction there. Have I never gone here? This isn't this isn't the thing that that's being shown on the wiki for this piece of uh for this piece. This isn't what I'm looking for. In due time. Hmm. Oh, I see. It got swapped in those places, I think. So where I'm supposed to go is actually somewhere here. Oh, what's this? Something happened. Something happened just now. What was it? There's an event. Signs from above. It's for George. Problem is, I can do nothing. Would be nice, but he's still uh, he's still busy for the next twenty days. So no. Fortunately, it's not like a not a problem. It's just an opportunity. Yeah, there's the trail on the hills. So the person making the map actually messed up. He swapped the locations. Give me. Scorched necklace. Very nice. Sure, Leopold. Oh, he's quick. Wait, wait just a second. What's your level? Nature check. Yeah, succeeded. Okay. He is a. Ah, I see. He's got three. He's got three claw attacks and one bite attack. I'll see. Okay. The amount of attacks is staggering, though. He's got a plus... No, wait, he's got four claw attacks and one bite attack. So he's got five attacks in a round. Each one of them actually at a higher bonus than we have. Wait, she doesn't have... She's order. not using this. I am never wrong. Again, uh... What what's where's this actually coming from? Uh Where do we see uh, the base attack bonus? Seven. So it's seven here, two here, but all of its claw attacks are done with its maximum. Thing, but he's getting a plus six from somewhere. Why are you getting a plus six from your strength? Yeah. 
At least we got a skin from him. Okay, now we want to look for the uh, Dwarven Helm Shard. So, we got the one in the Lone House. In the Ruined Watchtower there was 1, 2, 3. And the Dwarven Ruins was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6. And only these three places have it? Okay. So I missed one somewhere. Okay. Let's just look for it. Because I want to see what we get. Sure, rest. We Listen seem to up, be needing... Tavia. Where you're from... Do they also treat women like garbage? I don't remember my home too well. Uh -huh. But in Numeria, where I grew up, they treated everyone like dirt. Men and women alike. I don't even know which one's worse. Okay. It feels like we need to rest very often. But maybe because I'm traveling a lot right now. When in doubt, say you are. Okay. 